I don't follow politics. I don't, I don't care who's running the country. I don't care what rules they put in place and that. What by them making cutbacks or giving out f things, yeah, all that's gonna do is help me a little bit or you know hold me back a little bit. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not gonna make no difference to my fucking life because I am the person that controls my life. This is why poor people. They're so gung ho on um, electing this person, electing that person, and that because they're relying on them to fix their situation. Do you think? Do you honestly think? Yeah. Let's say yeah, like you lined up a hundred millionaires, yeah, in America. Do you think they would care as much as a hundred poor people who's going to get elected to be the next president of the United States, or even in England, if you lined up a hundred? millionaires versus a hundred poor people at the bottom of the social economic scale in council houses and that who do you think is going to care most who do you think is going to be relying on um the election the most it's going to be the poor people because the poor people are the ones that are relying on some sort of higher power to fix their situation blood i don't give a damn who's in power what can what can anyone in power really do for me I think Boris Johnson back during like just before lockdown or during lockdown, Boris Johnson, I think he was saying something about abolishing stamp duty and that. Yeah, that's gonna make my life a little bit easier and that. Because get me right now, I'm gonna have to pay like five grand in stamp duty for this next property purchase and that. But at, at the end of the day, in the grand scheme of things, what's five grand gonna do for my life really and truly? If five grand makes a lot to your life, you ain't got nothing going on and you're broke, blood. Like. Remember, I used to watch fucking Deal or No Deal when I was in prison. And the people them could potentially win 30 grand. Or let's say, like, they got one box that's, like, got 200, grand, uh, 200 pound in it. And then the next box that's got, I don't know, 50 grand in it. And then they give them a halfway um, deal. Like, say, oh, we'll give you 30 grand to just take the box and walk off. And they say, oh, you know, 30 grand will, is life-changing money. No, it's fucking not. No, it's not. I know why 30 grand is life changing money because you're not going to invest 30 grand. You're going to go and spunk it. So you're going to improve and upgrade your lifestyle. You're going to get that new car. You're going to go on them holidays and you get those clothes that you've always wanted. That's how it's going to change your life. Someone could drop 500 grand on me. That would not, you know, would even fucking know, blood. You know why? Because I'll just go and buy like 10 houses, 10 flats. You don't want to know. Maybe I might get. A, a nice little car, maybe. You lot wouldn't know. How the hell can 30 grand change your life? 